Hey there, everyone. Today we are on the Emerald Princess. We are on deck six, the Fiesta deck, and we are going to be showing you where everything is in relationship to stairs and elevators. Now, this is a bit of a strange deck. Um, the Bocelli restaurant is in the back of deck six, but you can't get there from here. Uh, we're going to have to go up to go over to go down, but we will eventually show you that. Right now, we're going to start off on the right-hand side and take you into the theater, the very front of the ship, and then we'll circle around. But before we go in, let's make sure that we point out uh, the ladies' room as well as the accessible ladies' room, okay? And let's go into the theater. There's a crossover to the other side. There is a ping pong room in this conference room. Right, I would probably think this may have been the old school library, Lisa, but it's now a ping pong room. Sort of in between things, it seems like. Uh, a lot of cleaning supplies kept in here. Um, I know it's dark. Again, they have the lights down, but it's uh, sort of a in between space. All right, so the music was playing in there pretty loud, so I would have had to have done the, the live read. Here is, is another conference center right here. Uh, this is actually set up like a conference center. Okay, so there's tables and stuff in here and chairs. Now, interestingly enough, and I know you're, it's not going to be easy to see, but this is actually an air wall. Okay, so these doors can accordion back. And, and this become one large conference space. Uh, you, you do have TVs in here and things. And if I knew where the lights were, I would turn them on for you so you could see in here. What's, what's behind here, Lisa? You see a button? Um, no, it's just storage of yeah, stuff. I think it is just storage. Yeah, it's, it's not like uh, the cabins where the light switches are, you know, right there. <laughs> Uh, so we don't want to be plumping around too much. Yeah, it's just more storage of stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys can tell that it's a conference center. <laughs> All right, moving on. It could be digital lights, Lisa. Again, here's that crossover that I showed you as we were going down the other side. Here are the men's room, both regular and accessible which is directly across from the women's that is on the other side. All right, now we're heading into Gatsby's, which is the name of their casino. What is this? That is Fun 21 Blackjack. You got three card prime, 
high card flush, regular blackjack, got your craps table, again moving around, it's probably mimicked on this side, yeah, blackjack, oh another blackjack table, so it's a little bit different, heads up hold them, another blackjack table. So, uh, huh? Say theater, it's casino. Uh, did I say theater? Yeah. I meant to say casino. So again, by by today's standards, this is a, a bit of a small arcade, if you will. We'll grab ones there. Some VR games here. I'm gonna try to win some candy. <laughs> there you go. punching bag there you go so there is the arcade <clears throat> you can get to it from there or from inside the casino of course this is how we came in so that's how we're gonna leave all right so here we go there's a ramp to get out of the casino And there was that other access point, okay? So here's your Princess Captain Circle desk. If you're part of the Captain Circle, if you have questions, you, there's somebody there. Your, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> your service area here, your service desk, customer service is right here. There's always somebody there. All right? And you can, you can see we're overlooking the piazza again, all right? Here is Meridian Bay, some of your shops. And if you're into Swartzky Crystals, they have them in there. Okay. We're in your mid-ship elevators and stairs. But we're also at the Da Vinci Dining Room. So let's go take a look at that. Again, here's another entrance to elevators and stairs. So just like Michelangelo, the entranceway is on the far right side. There you go. Again, they have the lights down. It's so interesting. I mean, it's great because they're conserving power. It's just weird. We've, we've never been on a ship where the lights were down. They've always been up. So uh, as we're watching this live, if, uh, if you guys watching with us are feeling that uh, it's a little dark, let us know. And we'll have to try to come back during the daytime and video uh, just the restaurant for you guys. So just leave a comment in the chat. Or if you're watching uh, the video, leave it in the comments of the video. If, you feel you need to see a second look at this okay kitchen is back there by the way so we can't we're not going to go back there that's also why the two restaurants are broken up meaning bocelli is on the other side of those doors that i was just showing you the spinning door where the kitchen is um back in the day i guess they still kind of do it now but it just seems to be a little bit different um the the kitchen is in between both restaurants. And so that is an emergency exit. It is not a way to get out, okay? Um, the only way in and out is up here, which is what I was showing you. <clears throat> We're actually telling you about is you enter through the right. Anyway, as I was saying, so when we started this video, I told you we we're gonna have to go up to go over to go down, well, that's exactly the case because the kitchen is in between both of the restaurants. So this is what we're gonna do. Instead of going up, going over and going down, uh, and then doing it again to come back here, 
I'm going to show you the rest of this deck. Again, here's access to the midship elevators and stairs. Um, and then we'll backtrack to show you uh, Bocelli's restaurant, okay? I just want to make sure we're not uh, Calypso Cove. You need some clothing. I just want to do this as seamlessly as possible. So yeah, so if you forgot something and need something, this is actually the, uh, we'll call this the cruise ship merch store. Okay, so this is all your princess garb here, right? All things princess. The first one was not. So if you need something, shorts, shirts, dresses, whatever, you can get that there. But if you want to buy something princess logoed, that's this shop right here. Here is your alcohol and tobacco area in there. Again, the other side of the service desk area. Nice. Okay, so we're now on the other side of the casino. Again, more slot machines. All right, so this is where we started. So we've gone, let's say 360 as far as we can, but remember we do have to go up to cross over to Bocelli's. So you're gonna get a quick glimpse here at uh, deck seven as we run our way down here to the back of the ship to go down. I suppose <coughs> we could have combined deck six and deck seven to make it a little easier, but I like to have them separated. So if somebody's watching and doesn't wanna watch deck seven, they don't have to watch deck seven. <laughs> Unfortunately, right now, you're having to watch deck seven. Yeah, it is so strange to see areas with the lights off. It's crazy. We've never experienced that before. I mean, I guess it does make a, somewhat a sense because, well, there's nobody awake except for the cleaning crew, but it's gonna be hard to show you everything. That's the crown grill in there. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to show you what they look like since, well, the lights are off. Ocean front. All right, so we're now, we'll show you more of that obviously when we do deck seven, but we are now gonna go back down so we can show you the restaurant. Now, we do this because already in the first two days, I can't tell you how many people we've heard, you know, talking <laughs> about getting to this restaurant and, and it being a problem for them. So you can only access it from the front elevator or the rear elevator banks guys right that big black hole there that is the kitchen you can only get to bocelli's from the rear elevator bank and so here's the entrance here to bocelli's you can either go to the right or the left there are um unisex men and women bathrooms inside the actual restaurant, which is very unique. So this is where we ate the first night. And there's the kitchen. 
nice area. Remember we told you we're in, in like this little cubby or, or little cubicle sort of space. Th this is where we ate the first night. It was really unique. Even though we were right by the door, it was completely quiet. It, was. it wasn't loud. It was, it was really neat. It almost seemed like we were in a private little room. It was very strange. Uh, what I like for you all to pay attention to in here, um, and again, I know it's a little bit dark, but the benches, right? They have benches all around in different places in this ship um, and in all the dining areas. And they are very, very comfortable. However, they are very, very squishy. And so when you sit on a bench, like me, I'm a pretty tall person, six foot four. When I sat on that uh, bench, uh, when we were sitting there, it turned out Lisa was actually sitting higher than I was. Um, so uh, the benches are, n I mean, they're comfortable, don't get me wrong, um, but uh, definitely a little, little squishy. All right, so we're getting around to the other side here. Just make sure we show you the whole thing. So as you can see, sort of more this is probably the bigger of the three restaurants. And be, I don't know how it works for service because we have anytime dining. And so since we have, I'm gonna sit here for a minute and explain this to you. Since we have anytime dining, we technically have to make a reservation to come to the dining room. Now we do that, I actually did it like several months ago. I picked where we wanted to eat every night. Now the three main restaurants serve the main menu, the same menu, I should say. So whether it's Bocelli, Michelangelo, or Da Vinci, it's the same menu. Now the two specialty restaurants are different, um, meaning uh, the, the grill, the Crown, and, the Crown Grill, and um, Sabatini's. I don't know why I can never remember Sabatini's. Um, they're specialty restaurants, so they have a different menu. So um, if you're doing any time dining, it doesn't matter which of the three restaurants you're in. The only difference is the decor. But we decided to eat in all of them twice, a couple of them three times, uh, just to have a different experience with the wait staff and what was going on in there, okay? So hopefully that helps you. Um, make sure you make your reservation beforehand. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, but as soon as you book your cruise, sit down there and pick where you want to eat. Um, it'll make it a lot easier when you get here uh, because they do set it up one side for people with reservations, the other side without. Um, when you have without, you might be standing there longer than the side with the people with, with uh, reservations and Lisa's, of course, shaking her head. All right, so we are gonna stop the video here uh, remember, we are now in the back of deck six, right there. We'll have that deck plan for you, all right? And until we see you on the next ship or one of the next decks, be safe.